So Miss Chloe Bailey She's single. is single. She's single. Ooh. But is she ready to mingle? Yes. Yes, oh, I am. Oh. You I ready am. to mingle? I am. If you nasty in a building, yes, the one and only. What's tea, sis? Girl, I'm good. I'm How so you happy feel? to you see feel you. Good. I love your energy. Every time I'm around you, it's like through the roof. Thank and you. it's genuine. It's pure. Like yeah, it's I a feel breath the of same. fresh air. I feel the same about you. I tell people, really? I'm like, her energy is always so genuine. Yeah. It doesn't matter if we're like not in front of cameras. Yeah. It's like just real. And you like want to know what's so funny, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but mm-hmm. the first time we met in person was when we was crossing paths. At AMAs or was it what? This it was one of, backstage yeah, somewhere. Yeah, backstage at one of the awards. Mm-hmm. And when I tell you, my team was like, I'm so proud of you because I'm so shy, right? Yeah. I'm so shy. I don't like to speak to girls that I'm actually really big fans of yeah, in real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole time, like, we got hella DMs and like liking each other pictures, mm-hmm. commenting, following each other and some more shit. But I'll be like too shy to speak. I get like in my head about stuff like yeah. that. So I feel the exact same. I'm like, but when I, I seen there? you, I was like, I'm speaking to her. Like I I didn't even tell. Like usually I give a heads up like, y'all, I'm going to go speak on that. <laughs> I just like, Chloe. Yeah. I'm the same. I, I'm it was same. just so it was just so natural and pure. I don't know if it's because the Atlanta's in us. Like the maybe, Southern hospitality. Maybe I just feel at home. Maybe yeah, that's what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, Because I feel the same. Usually I'm always like, okay. I start giving like prepping myself up. Okay, I'm going to go speak to that person. And, and what you going to say, yeah. right? Nope. Baby, that social anxiety is no joke. It's real. It's so, real. So I got a sister too. You're the oldest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So a year and a half. I got a baby sister too. And it's like, y'all remind me so much of me and my sister, Brooke. Yeah. Yeah. And I know how it is, like, you know, people comparing the sisters mm-hmm. and then it's All like the time. this is not for the internet. We really like same mom, same daddy. Yeah. Like this my sister. Like this not a competition. Mm-mm. This my sister. Never. Yeah. So how do you feel about like people pinning y'all against each other and trying to make like blood a competition? Honestly, it really pisses me off. Yeah, I and think, it should. I think out of everything, that's the thing that kind of gets under my skin the most when people are comparing us because yeah. we are best friends. We're sisters. Sometimes we forget that we're not twins. Yeah. And it's like, don't mess with my blood. Like, yeah. don't mess Period. with her. Period. So I think that's like, you know what? Sometimes I just have to like brush it off because people only see what they want to make up, what mm-hmm. they want to believe. Mm-hmm. And it's like, we they write in the story for you. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's like, sometimes I don't need to give off that energy and waste my time explaining something that I know isn't true. I feel that 100%. Yeah. And, I, and when I be seeing comments and stuff, I just be wanting to speak for y'all because I just be like, mm. leave them alone. I know. Sometimes I'm like, and then see, yeah. I'm, I'm really sweet and my clapbacks aren't the yeah. best. So I just need to just learn to just be quiet. <laughs> I don't know. Are you the sweet one? Yes. You are? The crazy thing is, okay, so I'm the cancer and sis is Aries. When I tell you I love me a cancer, especially a July cancer. Like, yes. Y'all July's are just are different from the Jews. Y'all are so sweet. And mm-hmm. it's just like, I just want to protect y'all from the world because y'all just too pure and genuine yes, for the world. I know. So it's like, Hallie's like the mm, one. Well, mm-hmm. And I'm like the huh. So it's yeah. funny how she's the baby one, but she's like, girl, if they don't girl, get So I'm learning I to relate. get like that. So Miss Chloe Bailey she's single. is single. She's single. Ooh. But is she ready to mingle? Yes. Yes, oh, I am. Oh, you I ready am. to mingle? I am. I feel like I'm protective over you. Yeah. I'm protective over you. I think you got your head on straight, and I feel like these niggas know. They like to play games. They like to play games, but they know who is a good look for them, and they know yep. who is next to go. They know who's going to yes. be running this shit five years from Girl. now, who's going to be the GOAT, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I was talking on a, on a different episode. I was talking about how the niggas is the new groupies. Mm. <clears throat> you can say that again. They it's are. It's like sometimes they look at us as women as their accessory. Yeah, and it's like, exactly. No, 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 no. Exactly. Accessory is the word. It's mm-hmm. like, I want the youngest, littest, bad bitch on my shoulder. Yep. And it's and like, it's, well, it's not do you deserve like that. that? It, do you deserve that? T is you talking to someone. Who? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You say who? I was saying who? Mm-hmm. I don't even go name drop, but if you want to name drop, you name drop. <sighs> who are you talking to, girl? 
I'm putting it in the music because... Like, Put it in the music. I, Make people pay for the tea. But let me tell you something. It has been helping the music. Yes. Because, yes. like, I never went to, like, high school. I was homeschooled for high school. So it's uh-huh. like all the experiences, falling in love, falling out of love, yeah. breaking up, making up, all of that. I'm going through it now. Yeah. Like, for real. Uh. So it's really been motivating the lyrics. Yeah. yeah. And, like, when I'm angry, instead yeah. of, like, crying or wanting yeah. to throw things, I just sit there and I write. And then I'm Girl, like, okay, I shit. love that. No, because it, it makes helps. the music more relatable too, and it just makes it authentic. Because I don't know about you, but like when I when I'm speaking on something that's like real life versus yeah. trying to like manufacture an idea and like yeah. put it on a particular beat, it flow way easier. It comes out like that. Yes. So like my vibe lately, because girl, I'm locked <laughs> down. I'm in oh relationship. What up? <laughs> It's hard for me to make like single turn up ah hot girl summer because music. That's not where you yes. are because you in love and happy. And my label is like they like where's the where's the club? But that's like, so, it's okay though because yeah. you can do both. I can do both. You can do both. I can do both. You can be a hot girl and you can also be in love at the exactly. same time. Exactly. And I think like I talk about it so much to where it's like they know I'm in love. So mm-hmm. if I get on there talking about. Some other shit. Yeah. It's they gonna not be like, authentic. They, yeah, yeah. They gonna call a cap on it. Cap. But it, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Honestly, I love love and I can't wait to get to that point in my life. Yeah. So I think it's a blessing, girl. Because if you think about it, there are a lot of songs where we're bashing each other and yeah. a lot of toxic mm-hmm. songs. Mm-hmm. So sometimes it's nice to break it up. I relate to you in the aspect of like going from like a very like kid friendly mm-hmm. image. Yeah. You know, everybody see me. To the masses, at least, mm-hmm. on the rap game. That's where I first saw you. Really? You were Sis and I's favorite. What? Yes, eh. I swear to you. We eh. used to love that show. Yeah. No, we used to love that show. And when you <laughs> won, we were so happy. Yeah. I know, I promise you. So, like, it's been so cool to see, like, the growth yeah. and how you've been winning. Mm-hmm. And it's like, because no shade, but you've been the only run from that franchise to really I mean, pop off. I mean, no shade, but, you know, yeah. proof is in the pudding. Because you know it's saying? hard. It's hard to do this shit. It is. Everyone thinks it it's is. easy. Oh, God. It's a lot of hard work. Yes. It's not just about a pretty face. You no. You write your shit. No. You go hard at it. And, like, no one realizes because I guess all they see is the glitz and glam. Yes. But everything behind it is stressful, crying, yes. wanting to oh, throw my things. God. You oh, know? my God. That's, you know what? I can go hours and hours <laughs> talking about that because I'm so emotional about my craft because I've been Same. doing it for so long. Yeah. So, like, I'm a psycho crazy bitch about my Me music. Me too. In my whole career period, like. My friends love me some days and they mm-hmm. hate me some days. Yeah, because it's when you put so much into it, you expect all of it to come back. And when it doesn't, you like beat you're yourself up. Yes. And especially you're when you're perfectionist. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Nope. So how was that transition going from that, um, that like, you know, kid friendly, super squeaky clean image to grown woman? Like, and it's not even, correct me if I'm wrong, mm-hmm. but for me, at least it wasn't like a... Uh, it wasn't a strategy to it. It yeah. was more so me just growing up. Yeah. Was it the same? That was the same for me. Yeah. I think, and I, because a lot of times I'll be confused because I'm like, the things that I post that people will have the most think pieces about. Yeah. Every other girl be posting the same thing. Oh my God. And I'm like, <clears throat> and I'm like, okay, so why is it with me that? Why is it with me? It's and, a problem. Yeah. So I've been sitting there It's thinking, cool when they do it. I it's know. a problem when I do it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> or it's like, if I do it, it's forced, it's contrived, it's not. Yeah. But I'm like, okay, so I've been sitting there thinking in my head, mm-hmm. and I've come to the conclusion is because they're not used to seeing me in that light. Yeah. They've grown up with my sister and I since we had our little short baby yep. locks on YouTube and everything. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. it's like, this has been me. I love... When I perform, that's when I'm. I feel the most confident, the most sexy. Mm-hmm. It's nothing contrived or forced about it. That's just passion coming yeah, out. Yeah, on good. I relate. Honestly, I'm happy people are talking. Sometimes it does get under my skin. I'm like, damn it, y'all just don't let me be. Yeah, you let everybody else yeah. be, and not me. <laughs> but you know, it's okay. It's okay. You know, I seen something and it was like, your body is banging. First of all, me. Girl, thank Who the you. hell? It's a struggle. It's, it's Girl, a struggle. I know, I, and I'm gonna ask you about how you maintain it later. But the mm-hmm. body is banging. Thank you. You too. You look <clears> good. No, girl, you. We gonna stick <laughs> with you. <laughs> body is banging, and you was posing in this um, bikini. Yes. And then they was like, "No, you, no, you wasn't going, going to, to the, the pool. pool." And it was like, "I'm like, excuse me." So I just put on a bikini to sing in my house just for the hell of it. Thank you. I'm like, listen, I had this on all day. Crazy. And it's like, you weren't with me. And I'm not sitting there monitoring anyone else's daily yeah. activities. 
Like, why does it even concern you that much? Anyways, but it's okay. Even if I was, it's okay because that was the one negative thing to take from it. Yeah. So I'm like, it, and they was, gonna find it. Yeah. They gonna find the one negative yes. thing. So I just learned to deal with it. I'm like, you know what? At least they talking. You making me trend. It's right. okay. It's okay. It's like some days I won't bother me, and mm-hmm. some days when I just am not feeling too strong, it'll affect me more than others. And I forgot I was trending for something, and I was just I was scrolling because you know once you start scrolling, you can't stop. Yeah. And I gotta stop that. <laughs> And I sent oh it, I sent the tweets to my god brother and I'm like, look at this. I said, is this true? Yeah. He called me up. He was like, what the hell is your problem? He yeah. said, why are you sitting there reading this? He's you he said, you have people at 8 a.m. talking about you and your life and you sitting there letting that get to you. Literally. I said, damn. My friends would literally try to snatch my phone. Yeah. They're like, somebody take her phone. It's hard. But it's like I can't give that power to people I you don't can't. even know. You can't. And you don't know me. And especially once you let them know what bothers you, yes. oh, they go for it. Completely. This is me like all podcasts, Apple Radio, 777 Radio aside. <laughs> how the hell, as a fan, how the hell do you look like that? What Listen, you be eating? What you be doing? Show me. We want to know the workout routine. Okay. I'm going to be completely transparent. Mm-hmm. My body and my weight fluctuates constantly, mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. I think Same. sometimes I like have body dysmorphia because yes. there will be times I look and I'm like, damn, I was, I'll was, i feel way bigger than I was. And I look back at pictures. I'm like, <laughs> Chloe, you were snatched. You were snatched. So it's like sometimes, even right now, like I gained a couple pounds and I'm like, it looks good on me. I'm yeah. just, instead of beating myself up about it because I will, yeah. I notice when I'm stressed, I eat because mm-hmm. it's my favorite thing. It brings mm-hmm. me the utmost joy. Mm-hmm. It never fails. Oh, good. But I'm like, it's okay. I just got to... I'm growing. Yeah. My body will grow. Hormones, things change, whatever. But it's like, I can't put so much pressure on myself. But when people tell me like, oh, I want my body like yours. I'm looking, I'm like, huh? Because I'll be It sitting, is crazy coming from third yes, person. Yeah. I'll be sitting there. You don't know how to look at yourself. Everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everything. From somebody else's point of view. Yes. Is hard. Yes. Yeah. But I'm vegan. When You're now, vegan? Yes. I love carbs, bread, all of that. Uh-huh. It's bad. Like when you leave in the studio, at, do you be doing late sessions? Mm-hmm. Like So mm-hmm. when you leave in the studio at 3 a.m., what you get? Bread, fries. That's the thing. Uh-huh. That's the problem. Okay. That's the problem. Girl, ain't no problem. That stomach is on flat. Sometimes. Ass is on fat. Sometimes. Face is sitting. Thank you. Sometimes. But it's like during AMAs, I yeah. lost 10 pounds. I was so snatched. I was the most snatched I was in my life. But mentally, I wasn't in the best place in my life. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I want to have my body and my mental there. Yeah. Like, I'm really happy right now. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, let's just put them the two together. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. It's just what we go as, go through as women. I, I feel it. And yeah. I was going to say, like, because um, the nature of the industry right mm-hmm. now and then, like, social media and then the comparisons mm-hmm. and, like, do you feel pressure to maintain a certain image? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I think wanting to, you know, we try to lessen anything that people can say or talk about us. Mm-hmm. So because we're constantly in our heads, we're like, okay, well, how can I fix this? How can I make that okay? So yeah. all of our insecurities get heightened. Yes. Because even things oh we weren't God. insecure about, people will poke on. Yeah. and Like me looking old. You don't look old. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> so now That's my whole crazy. thing is, I'm, I'm going to say this without saying no names, but yeah. I'd be like, no, Key, I look like, <laughs> uh, Key, I look like old. Oh. White woman. <laughs> I can't, but that's the things that be going through our head. It is, and, and it's all because of social media, though. Yes. It really is. Like, and you know, I can't say all. Yeah. It just, like you said, mm-hmm. heightens your insecurity. And makes up new ones. It makes up new ones. Because like, I never thought I looked old until I read it on the internet. And I no. just think I look like old oh, white woman. I can promise you, you don't look old. And then it's like at VMAs, that's yeah. what it was. So Jack Harlow had the seat thing on the airplane. Yeah. Yeah. I, they're like, okay, just sit and look forward, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm going to sit and look forward. I got this dress. I can't sit a certain way because it's like a corset. I don't want oh, it to bulge out. Yes. I'm sitting there like this. Uh-huh. Next thing you know, I see things going around. She looked like she about to have sex with the chair. <laughs> I'm like, now, hold on. Wait a minute. I can't what? just sit down. What? I'm like, now, I'm not even gyrating on the chair. What? I am sitting like this. Wait, time out. Wait, time out. <laughs> I'm sitting like this looking forward. It was mad because how you were sitting in the chair. Yes. And I'm like, okay, if I can't sit without people thinking I'm about to hump the chair, then something's (laughs) going on. 
something like, oh, she's trying to force her sex appeal. I'm like, I can't Wait, sit in who, the chair. Why they didn't warn me? Why they didn't warn me that you was out of pocket like this? Miss <laughs> Bailey. So I said, okay, if, if that happens yeah. and they say that, I said, okay, I can't do nothing right. So let me just be me. Let me just be me. And and you win at that because there is no other Chloe Bailey. Thank you. I'm going to say that. There is, I feel like you are superstar. Thank you. Like, I you give me superstar. You. Like, I feel like a superstar is when you come in the game and there's no one else like you. You created your own lane and you dominated. You're one of the best performers. Thank you. Of our generation. I said that. I don't give a fuck if they, Thank you. you know, backlash, whatever. Fuck it. That's the truth. Thank you. And time will tell. What do you think makes a superstar? I'm trying to get to where I think a superstar is. So there's mm-hmm. like a few people in my, like, Beyonce, mm-hmm. Michael, mm-hmm. Whitney, Mariah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, that's Janet. That's yeah. where I want to be. So yeah. I know I have a lot of work to go because yeah. I've seen, like, <clears throat> firsthand the work ethic yeah. that has gone into it. And yeah. I'm like, okay, I, yes, I know I work hard, but I could go even harder. Yeah, of course. And it's like... Yeah. For me, when I perform, that's the place where I feel most safe. Mm -hmm. That's the place where I feel most confident. Mm -hmm. That's where I feel like the Chloe people think I am. Mm -hmm. And when I know I feel that safe when I perform, I know that's my purpose. And I'm like, okay, I'm like, God, please, I hope I get here, 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 and here. But as long as I have the stage, I feel like as long as I have that and I just keep my head down and keep God first, hopefully I'll get there. So we're going to shift gears a little bit. Okay. If we can um, spill a little tea. Uh Uh-oh. Here we go. So, how do you feel about DDG? You like him for your sister? What's good? Because I'll be, like, protective over my sister. Listen, like, I, I am like, so protective. Nigga, you ain't going to do shit. Uh-uh. I am so protective of my sister. Yeah. But seeing how be. happy she is, I'm happy. Yeah. You know? I feel like that's how my sister is. I told him I had my eye on him. I said, you I said, you fuck with her, as I'm you, killing you. As you should. I told him that. He knows. Don't leave evidence, though. You know. But, yeah, she's happy. <laughs> she's happy. So, as long as she's happy, I'm happy. <clears throat> Have you ever gave head with a whipped cream? Maybe a little fruit roll-up action? <laughs> Maybe the little grapefruit action? I plead the fifth. Which one, Miss Bailey, if you nasty? I plead the fifth. <laughs> I plead the well, fifth. Well, I ask it for you. Let me tell y'all oh. how rap cap I am. In one of my verses, I said something about eating it with the ice. I ain't never had my thing lying ate with the ice. That's just so rap cap. <laughs> girl, you just, girl. You need to just be a ghost rider at this point. Because, girl, you just cap too much. I ain't never had my little <laughs> ate with the ice. And I don't think I would like that. Would you like that? You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But T was that, What's the tea? that you was talking to Quavo. Uh oh. Well, we doing a movie together. But they were saying that John was hanging out. Uh oh. Hmm? Well, who said that? I don't know. Why the hell would you say that? I don't know where that came from. Hello. Yeah, working. Yes, working. 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 He's a really nice guy. Yeah. Yeah, he's nice. I mean, he got dreads. Yeah, you I like, like dreads. his locks. I like his locks. Yeah. They're nice. I really, really love your locks. Thank I think you. it just separates you. And and I think you show so many girls. I even seen a tweet about this before. Yeah. I was like, you show so many other girls that, that might have locks, mm-hmm. like, growing up. And yeah. they, like, you just show them how creative you can be with them. You and Hallie both. Yes. And I seen a tweet and they was like, damn, they be doing shit that I didn't even know you could do with. Like, <laughs> I saw that. And it's fun. Yeah. Because I've had I them, love that. I've had them since I was four. So yeah. it's like, I'm 24 now. I've had them for 20, 20 years. 20 years. And it's like, I want to switch it up. I yeah. want to play. I want to have fun. But I never want to get rid of my locks. Yeah. Maybe one day I'll cut them real short so I yeah. can like put wigs and stuff over them. Yeah. But my hair is so thick. Yeah. I don't I don't think I would know how to operate with my yeah. hair out of locks, honestly. Yeah. So we'll see. I'm a diet. Have fun. I liked doing the blonde because I wrapped my hair with it. Mm-hmm. And it was like a protective style. Mm-hmm. And I did the same with the red. So yep. we'll see what color I'll do next. It's fun to we play. We're here for it all. Thank we just want to see you win and flourish. I love you so I love everything much. about you. I love you. Damn! <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! I'm going to go home and let my nigga put these panties to the side. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> 777 Radio. Y'all give it up for Chloe Bailey. <laughs>